Pep Talk UK, Pro Bees, out here, Peacock's gym. <laughs> I'm looking at your watch, that's what I'm doing. I'm saying, bro, eh? this thing's guy good for you. Eh? Eh? The, the drip, the drip, yeah, yeah. The drip. The, mi the minor drip. <laughs> I see it. Delighted to be joined by the trainer and the manager of no, Anthony man. Yard. Yes, sir. Tunde Ajay, how you doing? The one and only. Yeah? <laughs> the <This> entrepreneur. <laughs> hey. The master genius. The master genius. <laughs> Hey, I'm how, fine. How you doing, sir? I'm doing what? I'm just really, really excited. Um, yes. The big fight. This is what you work for. Yes. This is what you strive for. This is the dream. August 24th. How are you feeling? Surprisingly the same. <laughs> You're looking quite cool. Brother, Chill, it's like, relax. It's like. Got a cigar on. I don't know. Like, I'm like, am I supposed to feel different or something? <laughs> like, <I'm, laughs> I, you understand what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, you think about this moment for so long, mm -hmm. and then you you actually think it's gonna be some kind of change. And I guess for some people, there is that because they put the pressure on themselves. Mm -hmm. I've never, I've always done what they do in psychology, which is the end of the movie scenario. Which is, you know the end of the movie, so you just sit back, you relax, and you watch it. And um, the mood in our camp is relaxed. We ain't changing nothing. Same fun you saw today in the media workout. You know, some people that, you know, speaking to a few men have said, oh, that's a bit, you know, a bit too close. Yeah, a bit aggressive. <laughs> a bit aggressive. So oh, blimey, mate. Right? Oh, blimey. A bit violent. See, that's your, you put in the nerves. You, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They put in nerves on themselves. But it can't come around us because we don't think like that. Mm -hmm. We're just smooth, relaxed, and business as usual. Yeah. Smooth like Barry White, yeah? Trust me. Trust me. Everything, every, nothing's changed. You know, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. What I want to ask you is obviously, as the manager and trainer of Anthony, there's been a lot of uh, messing around with dates. Yes. Um, talk of Canelo, we talked about this. Yes. By a video call. <laughs> and um, <coughs> in terms of what you kind of pattern out and map out for your fighter, how disruptive has it been so far? None at all. Because it's like I say, like I, like I just said previously, it's, it's the end of the movie scenario. The main thing is that when you plant a seed, I think Anthony said it, you know, uh, you plant an apple seed, you get an apple. Uh, there's always a, a time, a gestation period and, and what have you and, and then finally it happens. So you can make up reasons why the fight didn't happen, it should have happened, it could have happened because it, but the main thing is that the fight is happening. The main goal is to becoming a world champion and we're not in control of the outside. All, we, all we've ever been in control of is ourselves, how we prepare meticulously and how much we put into our craft. And everything else sorts itself out. Anthony is a young person in the embryonic stage of his career. He's going to be around for a long time. So the delay, if you want to call it that, is only going to benefit us because we are more only drills, gonna, more drills, more jewels, more, more system nine, more system. You know, getting better and better and better and better. Because uh, Anthony is, <laughs> he's going to keep evolving. You know, but it just shows you. You know, there's a saying: a wise man does at the beginning what a fool does at the end. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. A wise man does at the beginning what a fool does at the end. And if you look at this, we are in a certain position that has taken people their whole careers to get to. And uh, that's because we're wise. And uh, on August the 24th, um, the journey continues. From a personal point of view, uh, I know you've been in the game for more than a minute. Yes. You trained in the Mayweather camp, I mean, you was with the Mayweathers. Yes. What would it, what would it mean to you if um, Anthony Yard 
picks up. Oh, sorry, I said if. Um, <laughs> you, see, you, you, I've been, you, I've been learning, you, man. <laughs> you, you took the words out of my mouth because I was just gonna pause and then say, "What do you mean by if?" Yeah. Do you know what? I see how you're going and argue with the blocking, man. Any negativity, block. 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 Instant. Instant. Because if you're not a positive person, if you're not a supporter, then you have no business around me. It's just the same like if 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 tragedy or loss before some I don't gloat over it. I'm like I'm always positive about the situation. There's something to learn from it. Come again. You understand? So when you're coming on the page talking negatively, I'm like, bruv, there's no use for you. Sorry. <laughs> you see, I'll just start coming up with the, the real language. I'm like, my man, there's no use for you. So what's the point in me? Engaging in conversation, just block. In fact, you can block me before I block you. But but once I hear anything or read anything negative, I just don't engage in that kind of stuff. And I like to think I've got a happy page of supporters. You know, because that's all I'm focused on. Andre Ward, any uh, <laughs> communication? Has there been any Jerry. more chatter? Yo, Jerry. <laughs> Yo, Jerry. <laughs> It's funny, like his man, Jay Prince, sent out a... Um, yeah, Jay Prince. Yeah, you know, he sent out a... a Rap a lot records, baby. Yeah, trust me. He, he sent out a, a well wish to Anthony. He said, man, handle your business. <laughs> <laughs> handle your business. So I think that, you know, me and Andre, uh, again, I've said it over and over again, he achieved all he could in the sport of boxing. But you know, Anj, we're fighters. It's the same way your family would defend you if yeah, someone yeah, yeah. said anything you gotta about say you. your man's the best. Yeah, you, you gotta understand? say that. Yeah. And so you don't say anything negative about Anthony without hearing something from Tundi. So I just laid some facts, and at the end of the day, I wasn't even lying when I said about the skill set situation. That's what just my personal belief. As he, he has said in the past, he was taught that you don't let other people, you don't big up yourself. You let other people talk about your history. Mm -hmm. But that's him. <laughs> I'm talking about my history. I'm talking about what I can do well. That's how I was made and you know, um, I'm here to defend and me, I've always, he can defend himself, don't worry about that, but you know, I'm always gonna defend anyone who, who comes against or says anything negative about Anthony. And it, he might say it's not negative, he may say it was just his opinion, but I'm like, bro, how can you have an opinion one week and then the next week you just say, you, but the opinion the week before was I've never seen him fight, then the next week you say, uh, next, this is gonna happen. I'm like, bro, you just saw because I said something against you. Um, you know, so that's it. But, you know, when all said and done, he has nothing left to prove in the sport of boxing. He's done everything there is to be done. And um, I wish him and his family all the best. So, Nia Jai, it's, it's been uh, a pleasure once again. The Master Genius has been blessed. Yes, sir. With some knowledge. Oh, you're everywhere now. I, I'm, I'm checking it. I'm, I'm seeing some <laughs> different kind of pictures with the stars. And we know vibration, frequency attracts each other. So you're up there. Hard work, baby. You're up there. Hard work, dedication, and uh, dream it, believe it, become it. Yes, sir. My guy, <laughs> yes. Tunde Jai, Pep Talk UK. Nice. Nice.